a Wikivide Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Sharp Objects Sharp Objects is the 2006 debut novel by American author Gillian Flynn. The book was first published through Shea Earhart Books on September 26, 2006, and has subsequently been reprinted through Broadway Books. The novel follows Camille Preka, a newspaper journalist who must return to her hometown to report on a series of brutal murders. Synopsis Camille Preka works as a journalist at a small newspaper. She is not particularly satisfied with the job, which includes writing stories about human neglect and crimes such as murder. Camille gets along somewhat well with her boss Curry, who supported her during a recent hospitalization due to self-harm. Camille has carved many words onto her body, having previously hallucinated them on her skin. Curry gives her a reporting assignment to her hometown of Wind Gap, Missouri, where one girl has been murdered and a second is missing. Once in Wind Gap, Camille manages to gain some information about the crimes from the townspeople, including the family of Van Nash, the murdered girl. The local police are not particularly forthcoming about the murder. But the town sheriff divulges to Camille off the record that he believes that the murderer is a Wind Gap native, not a stranger. Soon the body of the missing girl, Natalie Keane, is discovered in an alley in town. Both she and Anne were strangled and had all of their teeth removed. Camille publishes a story, only for Curry to ask her to remain in Wind Gap for further coverage of the murders. While there, Camille reconnects with her estranged mother Adora and half-sister Amar. Camille never had a good relationship with her mother, as Adora always preferred Camille's younger sister Marion, who died due to an unspecified illness when Camille was young. Amar, who was born after Marion's death, has grown into a spoiled preteen who behaves like a young child in front of her mother to hide her drinking, drug use, and promiscuity. Camille connects with a Kansas City detective, Richard Willis, sent to investigate the potential of a serial killer. As Camille continues to investigate, she begins a sexual relationship with Richard. During each encounter with him, Camille refuses to remove her clothes out of fear that he will reject her after he sees all of her scars. Camille and Amar begin to grow closer. After attending a party with her sister where the two of them get drunk and take drugs, Camille wakes to find Adora caring for her, giving her pills that make her sick. Camille is horrified to discover that Adora does this to Amar frequently, and realizes that Marion's illness was not hers, but Adora's, Munchausen syndrome by proxy. After some investigation, Camille finds a letter written by a nurse caring for Marion that shows that the nurse had these same suspicions. Camille also discovers that Richard believed Adora to be responsible for the murders of Anne and Natalie. She returns to her mother's home, where Adora poisons Camille and tries to care for Camille's wounds while bathing her. Camille passes out, but awakens to find Richard and the police arresting her mother. Richard is horrified to see the extent of her scars. This sends their relationship despite his earlier claims of genuinely falling for her. Adora is charged with the murders of Marion and the two girls, and Amar is sent to Chicago to live with Camille. Amar initially seems to be healing from the abuse she suffered at Adora's hands, but soon after she begins attending a girls' school in Chicago, a classmate is discovered murdered, having had six of her teeth pulled. It is then revealed that while Adora did kill Marion, Arma is revealed to have murdered Anne Nash and Natalie Keene and that she did it in part because she was jealous of the attention Adora was giving the girls. Distraught, Camille cuts herself again, but is stopped by Curry and his wife, who take her in as their own daughter. The story ends with Camille learning to be cared for as a child and a daughter for the first time. Production as she was working as a reporter for Entertainment Weekly while she was writing Sharp Objects, Flynn wrote the book predominantly on nights and weekends, a few hours at a time. While writing Sharp Objects, Flynn found that it was initially difficult to maintain the book's moist, gothic tone, as she didn't want it to be eo bouncy. Reception Critical reception has been mostly positive. Kirkus Reviews gave a favorable review for Sharp Objects, calling it piercingly effective and genuinely terrifying. The Star Herald also gave a positive review, 
praising the book's gradual revelations. Adaptations In 2008, British director Randry Arnold was reported to be directing an adaptation of the novel for French production company Pathé, but the project never materialized. In 2012, Flynn confirmed that film rights to Sharp Objects had been purchased by Bloom House Productions and Alliance Films with Flynn working as the film's screenwriter. On July 9, 2014, it was announced that Entertainment One would be adapting Sharp Objects into a television miniseries of the same name with Flynn serving as executive producer alongside Jason Blum and Charles Layton. Marty Noxon wrote the pilot script, and serves as showrunner. A straight-to-series order of eight one-hour episodes was announced by HBO on April 1, 2016. Sharp Objects stars Amy Adams as Camille Preka, and is directed by Jean-Marc Vallée. The series began filming in various California locations and in Barnesville, Georgia in March 2017 and premiered on July 8, 2018. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries. Would you like to know more?